Ever wondered how hackers find vulnerabilities in systems? Well, let's dive into the fascinating world of penetration testing. This method is the secret sauce behind that question. In the most basic terms, penetration testing, often called pen testing or ethical hacking, is a process where cybersecurity professionals, much like detectives, intentionally probe and poke at systems, networks, or applications. They're on a mission to uncover vulnerabilities, weaknesses that could be exploited by malicious hackers. It's a bit like a fire drill for cybersecurity. Just as a fire drill prepares a building's occupants for potential fires, penetration testing prepares an organization for potential cyber attacks. It's a proactive approach to security where the good guys use the same techniques as the bad guys, but with one crucial difference. Their goal is not to cause harm, but to prevent it. So, if you're curious about how ethical hackers mimic cyber criminals to strengthen security, then you're in for a treat. Why do we need penetration testing, you might ask? In the fast-paced, interconnected world of today, cybersecurity is no longer a luxury but a necessity. As technology has advanced, so have the tactics of cyber criminals who are constantly on the prowl for vulnerabilities in systems. They're becoming increasingly sophisticated and their attacks more frequent. This is where penetration testing comes in. It's essentially a proactive approach to security, aiming to identify and patch up weaknesses before they can be exploited. It's a bit like a burglar checking your house for unlocked doors or windows, only in this case, the burglar is on your side. Penetration testing provides a comprehensive analysis of your system's security, highlighting potential risks and how they might be exploited. It's an essential tool in the fight against cybercrime, helping to fortify your defenses and protect your valuable data. Think of it like a regular health checkup for your system's security. Now let's delve into the process of penetration testing. Penetration testing or pen testing is a multi-step process, each with a unique purpose and set of tasks. Let's break it down and explore the five main steps. Planning and reconnaissance, scanning, gaining access, maintaining access, and analysis. The first step is planning and reconnaissance. This stage involves defining the scope and goals of the test. It's about knowing what needs to be tested, how it will be tested, and what the potential impacts could be. It's also about gathering intelligence to better understand the target system, its vulnerabilities, and the ways in which it could be attacked. The next stage is scanning. This is where the pen tester uses technical tools to understand how the target system responds to different intrusions. They might use static analysis tools to inspect an app's code, or dynamic analysis tools to inspect a running app. Then comes the exciting part, gaining access. Here, the pen tester exploits the vulnerabilities they've identified to break into the system. They might manipulate data, disrupt services, or even create new access points. Remember, the goal here isn't to cause harm, but to identify weak points that a real attacker could exploit. Once access has been gained, the pen tester moves on to maintaining access. This step is about seeing if the system can be controlled for a prolonged period. Can the pen tester remain undetected while using the system? Can they come and go as they please? This step is crucial for understanding the depth of a vulnerability. Finally, we have the analysis stage. This is where the pen tester reviews their findings detailing what vulnerabilities were discovered, exploited, and how long they maintained access. The final report provides valuable insights to the organization, highlighting potential risks and offering recommendations for improvement. And that's a simplified overview of what a penetration test might look like. Ever wondered what tools a penetration tester might use? Well, let's pull back the curtain and take a peek at some of the most commonly used instruments in the world of cybersecurity. First up, we have Metasploit. This is a powerhouse of a tool used for developing and executing exploit code against a remote target machine. It's like the Swiss Army knife of penetration testing, boasting a vast array of features that can help testers uncover potential weaknesses. Next, we have Wireshark, a network protocol analyzer. Think of it as a digital microscope for your network, allowing you to see all the microscopic details of traffic flowing in and out. It's excellent for capturing and interactively browsing the traffic running on a computer network. Last but not least, we have Nmap or Network Mapper. This tool is like a high-tech sonar, sending out pings to determine what devices are active on a network, what services those devices are offering, what operating systems they're running, and other valuable information. And those are just a few examples. 
There are countless other tools available, each with its own unique set of capabilities and uses. The beauty of these tools lies in their versatility and the depth of understanding they bring to a penetration test. But it's important to note that the tools themselves are just the beginning. The real magic happens when these tools are wielded by a skilled tester who knows how to interpret the data they provide. Remember, these tools are only as effective as the person using them. To wrap it all up, let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. We've taken a deep dive into the world of penetration testing, a critical component of cybersecurity. It's not just about poking holes in a system for fun, but rather, it's a methodical process designed to identify vulnerabilities before they can be exploited by malicious parties. We've seen the importance of penetration testing in the grand scheme of cybersecurity. It's not just a luxury or an option, it's a necessity. In an age where data breaches and cyber attacks are becoming more common, penetration testing stands as the first line of defense, proactively seeking out weaknesses and taking steps to fortify defenses. We've walked through the process of penetration testing, which is a meticulous and systematic approach. It begins with planning and reconnaissance, moves on to scanning and gaining access, and concludes with maintaining access and covering tracks. It's a cycle of constant learning and improvement, always evolving with the ever-changing landscape of cybersecurity threats. We've also looked at the tools of the trade, the software and hardware that aid penetration testers in their task. From scanners to password crackers, these tools are the lifeblood of a penetration tester's work, enabling them to uncover vulnerabilities that would otherwise go unnoticed. So the next time you hear about a company conducting a penetration test, you'll know it's all in the name of cybersecurity.